Ever wanted to control your Apple Watch with just a gesture rather than touching the screen? A new device called the Mudra Band promises just that, and there are no janky cameras or IR sensors involved. Instead, it's a smart strap that claims to pick up signals sent from your brain to your hand so that when you make a gesture such as pinching your fingers together, it interprets the movement as a command and sends that to the watch via Bluetooth. Quoting from Gizmodo, The Mudra band looks pretty much like any smartwatch band would, except that the inside lining has several square-shaped surface nerve conductance, or SNC, sensors. These sensors measure something the company refers to as biopotentials, basically the electrochemical activity produced by your nervous system. Fundamentally, this is the same concept used by more familiar tech like ECGs, albeit for a much different purpose, end quote. The band isn't available yet, but it was demoed at CES and won over skeptical audiences, including Gizmodo's Victoria Song. Quoting again, Guy Wagner, the president and chief scientist at Wearable Devices Limited, the company behind Mudra, demoed the device to me over video due to the pandemic, of course, and it was actually impressive. On the Mudra app, I could see how the band was able to identify specific gestures, as well as detect in real time when those gestures were made. More astonishing was the fact that if Wagner used his other hand to move a finger, nothing registered at all. I have to do it intentionally, Wagner explained. If I move it mechanically, nothing will happen. It's the intention to do a movement. It's not me thinking about making a phone call to someone or answering or dismissing that call, end quote. So it's not mind reading in the way we normally think of it, but watching it, it seemed pretty damn close, end quote. Mudra's makers say that they're focusing on gestures involving phone calls and media controls to start with. It's not available to the public yet, though it's raised more than $210,000 on Indiegogo and expects to ship its first production batch to backers in March. March. 